Tanya. My name is Michaela. I'm a Kiwi who's living in Germany at the moment. I'm doing my PhD and this is my YouTube channel. We kind of just video our lives and my study and travel and a whole bunch of different things and I don't actually think this is in focus so I'm very sorry. Anyway, basically like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, we are moving to Tübingen finally. I am currently living in Stuttgart and we are living in Stuttgart because like I said we're from New Zealand and it's really hard to find an apartment when you're not in the country and Tübingen where I study is like a university town and so it's really hard to find accommodation because there's so many students and there's such high demand and so forth. So we ended up finding an apartment in Stuttgart and we've been living here for seven months now. It was supposed to be for like, I mean I assumed we were going to be here for a couple of months but we've had a really long visa issue thing and so we finally got our visas approved and we have found an apartment in Tübingen that's the long story short but we need to buy some things basically the place where we are now is fully furnished so it's got like bed and plates and cutlery and everything that you'd basic things that you'd need um, and we've bought a few extra things like some desk chairs and an extra desk because Luke and I both primarily work from home at the moment. Um, and we've bought like our own bedding and towels and stuff like that. But we don't have like basic stuff like plates and knives and that kind of thing. And I think a couple of videos ago I recorded, I think it was the one where I was speaking in German because I had to look up all of the translations for everything. But we got a couple of deliveries through for stuff that we'd started buying online for our next apartment. Our next apartment is like partially furnished. It's got like what I would call furniture. Like it's got a bed and it's got a mattress and it's got a table and a bookshelf. But it doesn't have basic items like plates and bowls and cookware. So we've had to go out and not we've had to because we haven't done it yet but we are slowly buying that kind of stuff so that when we go there we don't have to worry about it like we've got time at the moment so we can buy it anyway I was getting super excited about moving and then we got COVID so we were in isolation for about eight or nine days before we tested negative and now that we're out we're able to finally start shopping so that what is happening today we are going into the Stadtmitte um in Stuttgart Stadtmitte and we're gonna go I've got a package to pick up I bought some Converse shoes because my last ones we threw out when I was in New Zealand but I'd had them for like I think almost 10 years maybe um and so I've bought some new ones and we're gonna go have a look I think at like TK Maxx which is kind of like, I don't know, is there someone from the UK who watches who can tell me what TK Maxx is in the UK? Because here it's kind of like what I would call a thrift shop, but not a thrift shop in the sense that it's secondhand items. It seems to be clothing that didn't sell or like household items that didn't sell. And so it's all brand new, but laid out like a thrift shop. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to TK Maxx and we're going to hopefully find some stuff there. The reason we're going there and that I know that we're going there is because we bought a knife for here like a few months ago. I actually <laughs> had a big spiel in one of my vlogs about it. I'll see if I can find it. But it was a brilliant knife and it was on sale down to like, like 10 or 15 euros or something. And it's a really good knife. I think it's one of the best knives we've ever owned. So we're going to go to TK Maxx and see if we can find any other items for the kitchen. And then we might go to Galleria and see if we can get some, like, plates. We don't need, like, a big six-person plate set because it's just the two of us. And we live in, like, a small apartment, so we don't really have lots and lots of people over. So we're going to see if maybe we can just get, like, a small set thing. Um, or just buy individual items. But yeah. Anyway, that was a very long intro, but welcome to the video. I hope that you enjoy this video, and if you want to see more moving content, because there's going to be a lot as we move to Tübingen, then you can subscribe down below. And yeah, let's get on with the video. 
Okay, so it's actually the next day. We ended up going to TK Maxx yesterday and it was so, so crowded. I think I'm so used to going at like the middle of the day or before midday when there's like nobody there. And we only got there at about maybe like six or seven. It was pretty late and it was so busy. So it was a bit chaotic and we didn't end up videoing anything inside the store. So this is going to be a lot more of like a haul, which I never thought I'd do. I'm like, personally, I feel like I don't really like haul videos unless they've got a specific purpose because we're definitely like minimalists more than, I don't know, we're not like living out of backpacks type people but we only want to have the bare minimum and we only want to have stuff that we need and I never wanted to be one of those like clothing haul from this certain store or whatever but we are setting up a new home and I guess this is the kind of thing that can justify a haul because we need to have these things so we went to TK Maxx and we actually managed to find everything that we were looking for apart from one or two things which I can talk through in a second like I'll go through my Amazon cart of stuff that we're looking at getting on Amazon we wanted to get it in as much as we could in person so that we could actually see the quality of the stuff and so that's why we went to TK Maxx it was a bit of a mission bringing them back I have to say I'll actually um I'll take a video on my phone so that you can see what I'm looking at these are the two I'll put it up on the side of the screen but these are the two gigantic shopping bags that we ended up getting from TK Maxx. This is my hand for reference. It's like, <laughs> they're gigantic. And my phone quality isn't very good, but anyway. And we just wanted to get the essentials that we knew that we'd need. It was actually, I have to say, so much better doing this second time round. Like we set up home when we first got married because that was when we first moved out. And so we kind of went through and bought a whole bunch of stuff that we really needed as well as what we wanted. Whereas this time it was really just the bare minimum. And then when we get there and assess the situation and set up and put things away, we can decide where we want things to actually go. So I thought I'd talk through everything, but let's start with the first bag. Okay, so the first thing that I've got is this like bread knife thing. I mean, I don't know what to call it. A bread, it's probably got it in English. A dough scraper, there we go. And that was $3.99 down from $7.99. I don't know what TK Maxx is like in other countries, but like I said, TK Maxx is really like a thrift store for new items. So stuff that didn't sell, or at least that's what it seems to be here. It's like a thrift store. And it's really cool. Like it's just a normal dough scraper. It's got the measurements on the side, but I thought that I could also then use it. Like there's a photo on the back. There we go. Where you can also use it as like a cake measure and everything. So if, um, I really want to get back into decorating cakes. So we'll see. And then we got this can opener generic can opener it was 10 euros and we got it for 4 99 nothing too exciting it's just a can opener and then some kitchen scissors i'm like i always feel the need to have kitchen scissors i think these ones actually might pull apart as well i could be wrong i'll let you know when we open it but we're only opening everything when we get to tubing in. these were originally 11 euros and we got them for 5.99 and they look good, like they had a whole wall full of kitchen scissors and a whole wall of, of knives. And we spent so long trying to decide which ones we wanted to get. So Luke ended up choosing the knife and I ended up choosing the kitchen scissors. And then Luke wanted to get this. So this was $9.99 and we got it for $5.99. It's a two-in-one peeler. So there's a, um, like a generic peeler. And then there's also, Luke was calling it like a Julian peeler. Yeah, it is a Julian. Julian Schneider. Um, Julian Schneider for cutting thin strips of vegetables is what it says on the back and it just pops out so really we got two for the price of one and then we got this sieve again for rice pasta baking and that was originally $7.84 and we got it for $5.99 so good price we just wanted to get one there were so many options where you could get sets of things and like I mentioned before, like we're really trying to minimalize on things and rather than have a million different things, we've got a really small kitchen in the new apartment 
and so we're just getting one of each item possibly two if it's needed like we got an extra knife we've already bought one knife and we got an extra knife yesterday just because then you've got like a meat and a vegetable knife and they're separate but aside from that we just really want to have minimal items and we just We'll just wash it if we want to use it for something else so it's really not a big deal for us and then this is actually for my office I don't have any coasters at the office and so I just wanted to get some cheap coasters because I really don't want to damage the wood of my desk but anyway these were $6.99 and it doesn't have the original price so I'm not sure sorry but they're just like marble coasters really sturdy I don't like coasters that move around too much like if they don't have feet on the bottom and they end up moving around, I end up just knocking over my drink. So, nice sturdy purses. And then, <laughs> the age old search for tea towels that actually work. So we ended up getting these tea towels. It's a set of three. One of them is waffle, two are non-waffle. And we went through and felt all of the quality of the material. Because there are some tea towels, like we own tea towels that I don't think we're going to use as tea towels anymore. We might just use them as rags and stuff because they just don't dry which is really frustrating i feel like the purpose of a tea towel is to dry things and it just doesn't work so we ended up getting some more i really didn't want to buy multiples of things but since we aren't using our old ones anymore we're gonna use these instead so yeah and they're really nice coloring like i really like gray and white our bedding is actually gray and white and i just i feel like it looks very clean and minimalist if you if something can look minimalist i don't know it's just the aesthetic that i have and these were 8.99 for these three but they don't have an original price so i'm not sure what they originally were and now for my favorite part so we've had such difficulty finding like dinnerware sets because we wanted something that was relatively basic but you either pay like 60 euros for like bowls and plates and no mugs or you pay like a hundred euros for like an eight person set and we don't need an eight person set and so we were originally planning on going to another store like Galleria and getting individual items that were part of a set but we ended up finding some in TK Maxx which is so exciting because we live alone and we're moving into like a small apartment I think it's only about 30 square meters we're not really hosting people and so we really don't need lots and lots of items when we lived in New Zealand we lived in a big house and we had a lot of functions like we generally hosted Christmases and birthday parties for our wider friends because a lot of them either lived in apartments or hadn't moved out of home and so we had a lot and lot of serving dishes and plates and bowls and cutlery and we just don't need that anymore and so we ended up finding this like homestead basics individual sets that matched we ended up getting this set of bowls was $12.99. So it's just a set of cereal bowls, but I end up eating dinner out of a bowl normally. So this is a really good size, not just for cereal, but for being able to eat dinner as well. And then to match them, we have these plates, which are such a beautiful design. They're just super, I don't want to say minimalist again, but very very plain with a little bit of detail and I don't like plates that are weird shapes because I just find they're annoying when you're trying to stack them but these are just really nice because they're big wide plates but they also have a lip which means that things won't easily fall off but the lip doesn't come in really fine and you end up with this really small flat section in the middle like you've actually got a big enough plate with a lip on the side and these plates came to $14.99, which meant overall we really didn't spend that much for what we needed when we, the cheapest we were looking at was about 60 euros. And that is everything in the first bag. This is the bag that I said you, the size comparison. It's like gigantic. <laughs> the next thing we got was a cutting board. It's a plastic cutting board. Cause I really, I don't trust cutting meat on wood. I know you can do it. But I really, it just gives me the ick that people cut meat on wood. Because then I feel like, have you really sterilized the board? And then it ends up sticking to the board and it's really hard to wash off anyway. So we stick with plastic cutting boards. And we only got one because we've already got a set of two small cutting boards. And I, 
like I said, I, we just don't want to have lots of items and the one thing we were missing was a big cutting board. And so we just got the one even though it was actually going to be better bang for your buck because the set was about the same price as what we paid for one. But we just don't need it and we don't want to have clutter. So we got this for $13.99. And yeah, it's just a nice laminate cutting board and then there's Luke's favorite item he has been looking into cast iron pans for a really long time he loves cooking with cast iron and it can be really really expensive to buy cast iron but they were selling them in TK Maxx I don't know how much the original was for the specific one it doesn't say it but it's a 25 centimeter or 10 inch cast iron skillet and we got it for 17 euros, which is like unheard of in our research. Other people might know better places to get cast iron, but everywhere in New Zealand that we looked for cast iron, it was gonna be so expensive. And Luke really wanted to get this for properly doing meats and if he wanted to grill veggies versus having like a standard fry pan. He also just really likes the idea of cast iron and the way that you cook with cast iron and being able to oil the cast iron and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really happy that he managed to get his cast iron. And the reason we got this is because we already own one fry pan and the other fry pan that we use is from the apartment that we're currently staying in. And we only want two fry pans. We don't need a million that you end up not being able to stack and not being able to use properly because they scratch and it's just an issue. So we've got one fry pan that is, I don't know what it's coated with, but it's just like a generic standard fry pan, like a non-stick fry pan. And then we've got our cast iron. So hopefully between the two, it should be everything that we need. And then I wanted to get this. We didn't actually go in intending to get this, but I hadn't seen one for this price. And it's just a tea organizer because I hate having multiple boxes of tea. They end up falling over the place and they're super cluttery and Luke was suggesting that we wait till we get to tubing and see what our space is. But I really wanted to get something that was separate because we had like a tea drawer in New Zealand. And when people came around, it was really hard to like, well, you can't pull out the tea drawer and put it on the table. Whereas this can fit away easily, but then you can also pull it out and view things. So this was originally 20 euros and we got it for 12.99. Um, and it's just like a generic standard tea box. Nothing super exciting, um, but I'm going to use this now. The rest of the stuff we're just going to put away in storage because we don't want to get it out and start using it now and then have to pack it away. Actually, today is when we're going to be starting the vlog for packing things away, which is a bit surreal, but anyway, we're just not going to use any of this stuff until we move. And then our second knife. So Luke didn't want to get a serrated knife because then you can't sharpen them. And we just wanted to have a multi-purpose knife. The other knife that we have is really, really good for cutting tomatoes and bread already. And that's all I was really using a serrated knife for. So we decided to get a similar one. But this one is a 20 centimeter or 8 inch chef's knife. And yeah, I don't know. Luke knows more about knives than I do. He did a whole research thing when we started looking into what knives we wanted to get when we moved. And it was originally 14 euros and we got it for 7.99. So it's just a super basic knife. I think our other one was something like we bought it for 20 euros and it was originally like 40 or 50. So that's our like really good quality meat cutting knife. And this is just our generic vegetable knife. So yeah. And yeah, that's everything that we got from TK Maxx. Like I said, it really wasn't a lot. We already have a lot of items that we'll be bringing with us. And we really just don't want to have excess. We don't... We're not really hosting for people here in Germany, which breaks my heart because I love hosting for people. But at the same time, like there's no point having stuff that you're not going to use. So we're probably going to get some extra stuff when we move to tubing and mostly like baking stuff because I'm hoping to get back into baking. We just haven't had the space here and we don't have an oven here. I'm hoping that, yeah, we'll probably buy some baking stuff when we get to tubing in. But just for basic household kitchen items, that's what we got. And yeah. Anyway, thanks for being part of this really random video. I don't do hauls. I don't really do videos like this, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And I'm really excited that this one is kicking off the moving videos. It's gonna be super sporadic. We're, I'm filming this before we go on holiday. And then next week we're going on holiday for three weeks. And then when we get, we get back on a Friday, 
and then we move on the Monday. So it's going to be a really hectic last weekend, but we're hoping to pack most things up this weekend so that we can just go away, not have to worry about the state of it all here, and then also not have to pack everything up when we get back. So yeah, thanks for being a part of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it interesting. If you have any suggestions for something that I've missed, please let me know. I'm sure we'll figure out when we get to tubing in. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I will see you with another video very, very soon. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.